At New Cac High, there are no algebra or biology classes. All the courses are combined and have unique names like apps for algebra and physical science or Spanish issues for Spanish and global issues. This class is Com Studies and students learn how to communicate effectively. They're now working on a project for Black History Month. We are researching different African Americans dealing with poetry and artists and literature and we're going to put together a display for Barnes & Noble. Ilana Hicks is one of 110 freshmen who opened the school this fall. Their work is centered around projects and students must work together. Half of the school is in this classroom and Heidi Jorgensen is one of two teachers. It never feels like 50 kids. It's like 12 teams. And Jorgensen says one of the best things about this school is the progress she's seen in students. Some who started the year off very shy are now quite outgoing. Well, so we're sort of getting ahead of the game. Yes, awesome. we're good. We're good. Kids who had a hard time shaking our hand and introducing themselves to us are standing in front of um, local business community partners and saying, this is our idea, this is why you should back it, this is what the research shows. Students are learning in a more hands-on way and say their work is more meaningful that way. These things, they actually impact the community and they actually impact us. In Sioux Falls, Katie Jensen, Hello Land News. A new school in Sioux Falls takes learning to a whole new level by focusing on projects and teamwork, not just textbooks. We'll take you inside the new tech school and show you how it's helping students thrive on tonight's Eye on Kimmel Land. Well, a curriculum driven by projects is attracting students to one of Sioux Falls' newest high schools. The new tech school is also helping some students get a new start. You have an extreme sense of belonging here. Like, and even if you don't fit in with certain people, you always have a place to fit in here. We take you on a tour of this unique school on tonight's Eye on Kettle Land. first showed you tonight at 6, a new high school in Sioux Falls is implementing an entirely different way of teaching students. New Technology High School uses project-based learning to teach in a more relevant way. And one student in particular has blossomed since the school year started. Katie Jansen shows you how the freshmen gained a new start at New Tech in tonight's Eye on Kettleland. These students at New Tech High are just beginning their project about immigration in their Spanishus class. The name is a cross between Spanish and global issues, and students will be making a documentary. I'm doing history of immigration for our documentary, and I, I have free reign on what to do for that, so I'm taking the most creative approach I can take on it. Kristen Barnhart is among the first batch of freshmen to attend New Tech High School, and she definitely stands out. Barnhart has cerebral palsy, so little things such as taking notes are difficult for her. But she says it's not an issue at this school because technology is incorporated into everything the students do. If me and my friend Leah, who is also in a wheelchair, want to take notes on their computer, well, half the other students are going to be taking notes on their computers. Students rarely use textbooks or listen to lecture, but the most unique thing about New Tech High is that the curriculum is driven by projects. Students are graded on not just the end result, but also how well they work together along the way. It's preparing them for the real world. And we are in a job more like setting, like. We have group contracts, and if somebody violates that contract, you can be fi fired from the group, or you can quit from the group. The projects are designed to help the community, too, and experts from across the area come in to offer guidance. Today's speaker is from Lutheran Social Services, which does a lot of work with immigrant families in Sioux Falls. Barnhart says each project is a group effort. If one person fails in your group, your grade depends on getting along with those people and making sure that they do well, too. Barnhart says one of her favorite things about the school is the collaboration among the students. Because she has used technology for a lot of her life to help her learn, she's able to explain it to other kids. I have so much confidence because I know a lot about technology, and so 
people actually come to me and ask for help. Instead of being the odd one out, Barnhart says New Tech High feels like home. Everyone's in the same situation, starting high school at this new school with a new way of learning. And the students have become like family. You have an extreme sense of belonging here. like. And even if you don't fit in with certain people, you always have a place to fit in here. And one day she hopes to be a teacher at this very school. With Eye on Killoland, I'm Katie Jansen. New Technology High started this year with only 110 freshmen and will add around that same number of freshmen every year. Well, it's great to see how well she's doing in that setting. Yeah, it has some goals, terrific. too.